Hello everyone, welcome back to Manga Goblin. I'm Trix, of course, and today we're going to talk about Fred Lad. Who is Fred Lad? Now, if you've ever watched anime in England or America or in Europe or Russia or anywhere beyond Japan, basically, uh, you should know who Fred Lad is. Fred Lad is a producer who brought anime to North America. He brought it to the West, basically. He died recently at age 84, and my thoughts are with his family and people affected by this. Now, Fred Laderman, also known as Fred Ladd, was a television and film producer, and he helped popularize animated, or Japanese animation. He was born in Toledo, Ohio, in 1927, and he graduated Ohio State Uni with a degree in radio and speech in 1949. He built on various childhood talents, such as Betty Boo, he moved to New York, and then at the Clayton and Ad Agency, which was expanding film production, um, he started looking to distribute things from Europe, and he included films like um, The Belgian Pinocchio from Outer Space, The Journey to the Beginning of Time, and in 1963, he was approached by NBC and Tetsuan Atomo, created by Osamu Tetsuka and Mushi Productions. Lad basically brought that footage into a pilot episode of Astro Boy, a long-running series that gave the US TV audiences a first ever view at Japanese animation, at anime basically. Red Lad continued on this journey and he did Kimber and the White Lion for NBC in 1960. He did the 90s dub of Sailor Moon for DIC. He did animated series such as The Incredible Hulk, Mask, Ghostbusters and other projects. Fred Ladd was simply a giant in animation and it's really sad that we've lost him. At the, but he lived a good long time and a ripe old age of 90, 94. Um, so that's it really. Uh, again, my thoughts are with the family of Fred Laderman. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Do take care of yourselves and bye bye.